Programming made possible by Kentucky American Water. Visit Lex, horse capital of the world. Before heading back to the river, let's grab a quick bite with one of my friends in the tall white hats and striped pants. He's apparently caught a fish of some sort and wants to show it to me. Hi, I'm Sylvia Lovely with Azura Restaurant and Patio, part owner. It's one of Lexington's original farm to table restaurants, but today we're gonna do something with water to campfire. Or Chef Jeremy, how about first vineyard wine to table? You know, I got you covered. So. When it comes to cooking in Kentucky, I love using farm to table ingredients, especially anything out of Kentucky's waterways. You know, Kentucky is world renowned for aquaculture, which is really cool. We have these aquaculture shrimp. But you know, if you're out on the river, you catch catfish, bass, trout, all these great things, all these great species that we have in Kentucky. The one thing I like to do is eat them right there, fresh and ready to go. And this is like a campfire little catfish I want to show you guys. So the idea behind this dish is, you know, you're right by the stream, you just caught some fish, you fillet it, you're out with the guys, you got some Kentucky wine or you got some Kentucky beer, throw it all in the skillet and go for it. So plenty of good oil right in your skillet. And that's just so you don't really, you know, get the fish to stick to it. Now I'm not saying you need flour by the, uh, by the campfire, but if you got it, great. It helps the fish not stick. Otherwise, just put it in the pan and forget about it. Don't worry about it, it's gonna be fun. It's just dinner anyway. So, lay the fish in, the oil, kind of get that going. And as you see with the oil and the flour, it doesn't really stick, it kind of moves a little bit. It makes it a little bit easier to work with. You got the guys around the fire, the skillet's going, the fish is filleted, it's in the skillet. Flip it over, and then just start adding all the good stuff. I got some smoked sausage in here. A little bit of onion and garlic with the big cloves and garlic. I don't even like chop that up. You know, you bite into that, it's good. You know, permeates the entire dish. And that bowl, you see like the garlic fry on there, the onion, that's all kind of like permeating throughout all these flavors now, infecting all the other ingredients. A little bit of shrimp. You can use Kentucky freshwater prawns if you want, whatever you prefer. A little bit of fresh corn, just kind of chopped up. Some new potatoes. Freeze a little Old Bay seasoning. You can probably make your own if you want. Lots of that gives it lots of good flavor. And see, here's the part where your beer or your wine comes in play. You know, you're sitting by the, the fire and drinking a little bit, cooking a little bit of food. So I throw that in there and kind of cover your ingredients. Let that get going. Maybe some fresh herbs. And just kind of let this sit, let it cook. Don't play with your food too much. After two or three minutes, the fish is cooked, the shrimp is cooked, the corn is done. Maybe at the end, you got a little bit of butter. Kind of make that sauce nice and buttery. See what we got here? Oh, man. And literally, I like to serve this in the skillet, right by the fire. Get your forks out, get your knives, your spoons, your cornbread, whatever you want to do, dip it in there, stop it, go. Eat with your hands, get messy, and get involved. We'll, we'll see, see you downstream. downstream.